Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University, voluntary reading. This is part two. We are looking at some data. First of all, why reading outside of school is so important. Minutes a day, words poured over your head, percentile rank in achievement. Now, correlation does not infer causation. Do you achieve so much because you read a lot? Or do you read a lot because you achieve so much? We do not know. However, why reading 20 minutes a day counts. Think of all the words that are poured over your head. You practice reading and identifying those words. Also, the more words, the more concepts, the more knowledge. The rich get richer, the poor get poorer. The more you read, the better you're able to read. The more you learn, the bigger your vocabulary. <clears throat> Why can't I skip my 20 minutes of reading today? And that is a great goal for all students especially well all students 20 minutes a day and think about the difference in the number of words that are poured over your head you learn a word by being exposed to it by encountering it we must we must we must uh, get students reading national assessment of educational progress part of the u.s department of education reading in and out of school are positively related to reading achievement there is no relationship between workbooks and reading achievement, so why do we do them? A note, correlation does not infer causation. If you come from a home that is a strong reading environment, there is higher reading achievement. Meaning if your parents read at home, if you read at home, uh, there is higher uh, reading achievement. And again, uh, we don't know what the causation is, but we do know they're strongly associated Federal funded Title I and special ed programs have not increased students' volume of reading. It does not motivate them, not want them to want to read more. Why is that? Usually because it's just drill and skill of some reading sub-skills. It's useless, it doesn't make any sense, and it is not enjoyable. It creates more of an aversive conditioner than a motivator. Three premises. Reading is pleasurable. Those who find no pleasure have not found the right reading material. Teacher's number one job is to help children fall in love with books. People become better readers by reading practice. Reading ability improves throughout our lives as we continue to read. We become exposed to more words, more concepts. Reading improves vocabulary, fluency, conceptual knowledge, and the ability to learn, not learning. Conclusion. It's absurd not to set reading volume, the amount, as a goal in all schools at all levels with all readers. It is a research-based practice. The next video, we'll be looking at some studies conducted by Richard Allington.